What is going on YouTube? Floopy Docky here, and we're getting ready to talk about one of the more important sliders in all of Madden, regardless of whatever Madden you have, Madden 2021, whatever. This probably will apply to the future Maddens going forward. So it's a good thing to understand, especially if you want some realistic sliders and you want a realistic experience, because we all know that Madden hasn't really done the best job of creating a realistic NFL experience in their game. So let's talk about exactly what does uh, speed threshold mean and a lot of people are confused about this so they've actually done in the recent years they actually put in a definition that better tells exactly what happens when you increase or decrease the speed slider um and it says here in the in the description it says increase or decrease the minimum in-game speed for players a lower number creates a greater separation between fast and slow players meaning that if we increase that that there will actually be less separation between your fastest and slower players um on your team or versus an opponent. All right, so now we need to put this in action so that you can understand a little bit better what we're talking about and actually see the difference. So we got Tyreek Hill, the fastest wide receiver in the NFL, and then we got his teammate, Sammy Watkins, who is not necessarily the fastest or the slowest. He's kind of an average wide receiver. We got both of them running streaks. We're gonna have them run down the field. This parity is at zero, so you're gonna see the greatest difference in speed separation. So we'll just throw this and we'll go back so that you can look at the pictures here and you'll see the difference between speed threshold at zero versus speed threshold at 100. And you can see the actual difference in separation. One, there's only about a yard of separation. And the other, there's about three yards. And you say that, well, that might not be a whole lot. But in the grand scheme of things, when you've got a, a corner on you and you're throwing a deep ball, let's say to a Tyree kill, or you're throwing a slant to one of the faster guys on your team, and you got a really slow corner, because you got to remember, like the fastest corner man is like, like a 94, 95 that that's going to make a very big difference, especially when you start to combine other factors like the other sliders, uh, when it goes like press coverage, when you're talking about um, pass reaction time, man coverage, all those things play a factor into this. So if you've got a very big difference between a fast and slow player, and then you've got other things adding onto that as well, there's going to be a very big difference in separation. So now if we add corners to this, you'll get, you'll get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. I got Tyree Kill against Dante Jackson for the Carolina Panthers, who's one of the fastest uh, uh, defenders in Madden. I think at like a 94 speed against Tyree Kill. Now, there are other things that are going to go in the factor here, like press coverage and what other sliders we have that I talked about before. So you've got uh, pass reaction time, man coverage, all those things play a factor in this. But currently with the bland basic sliders and the speed parity at zero the threshold is zero you'll see exactly what happens and look at that separation already and i'm gonna throw that ball so that you can see we're gonna go into instant replay here so here we are in instant replay and we've got like i said dante jackson against tyree kill there are other things that play a factor in this like press coverage release so how good the wide receivers release is rating how good the uh defensive backs press rating is and you'll see right off the bat pretty good battle there but Tyreek Hill obviously wins that. And now let's look at the difference in separation created when you have this thing at zero. So, I mean, we're, what, 30 yards down the field and Dante Jackson is getting almost, he's almost getting five yards of separation or Tyreek Hill is five yards of separation off of Dante Jackson. It looks like it's about at four. And that is a very big deal. I mean, one or two yards of separation is usually enough to, to take it to the house. All right, so now if we take that same exact play, same personnel, all that good stuff, we got Terry Keel running a streak again. We got our speed threshold now at 100, meaning that it should be less separation on this play. Now remember, there are other things that play a factor. Release, press, all that good stuff. But you should see less separation between Dante Jackson and Tyree Keel on that play. So let's go into the replay and look at this. And it looked like uh, there was not a very good release. Actually, I lied. That's actually a pretty decent release. And now if we let this play out, look at the difference in speed. He's only about a step and a half. If we take that, he's about one and a, yards, one and a half yards difference there. Now you might say, oh, that's perfect. If we put it at 100, that is absolutely perfect. Now, the only problem with the speed threshold and only changing it alone is that you got to remember that against corners and wide receivers, when they're both equally as fast pretty close and there really doesn't there's not a lot of big difference but let's say we've got speed threshold at zero and i'm lamar jackson going up against a linebacker and i decide to go out and run out to the left nobody's catching me. a linebacker defensive end they don't have a chance at catching me and if you take that the opposite 
and I put that at 100 on Lamar Jackson, I should be out, should be able to outrun some defensive linemen, defensive tackles, those types of things. But when you have it at 100 and there's very little difference between speeds, you can't get away from anybody. So your next question I know is going to be, well, then what should we put speed threshold at? And I think 52 is the perfect amount, which actually puts in the favor more of the slower players in Matt and in the NFL. But there is a, uh, a very good uh, even dynamic between fast and slow players. If faster players have a few more yards on them, they're not going to get caught. But at the same time, if they're running neck and neck and somebody fatigued quicker, you are able to catch up with the player. Uh, some linebackers are able to catch up with running backs, some slower wide receivers, tight ends like that. But at the same same time, you do have speed does matter with that threshold at 52. Now, remember that there are other sliders that you need to incorporate, like pass reaction time, quarterback accuracy, all that other stuff that plays a, a factor in that and individual uh, ratings from player to player. So we've got this at 52. We'll throw this, actually have a slam, but look at the difference in speed there uh, at 52. Lamar Jackson, I mean, Lamar Jackson, <laughs> Tyreek Hill was still able to separate from Dante Jackson, but he's not burning down the field. So I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all Madden related content. And if you want to learn more about how sliders and those types of things work, I do have a video listed for all the sliders. Uh, currently, I'll put that down in the link in the description down below so that you can implement those if you want more of a realistic gameplay experience when it comes to madden hope everybody has a good day make sure to subscribe if you haven't already donkey out